seeing the infamous blow everything up with false sets down. Absolutely, and both have been effective. Both have been very effective, and to be fair, they are against a Hanzo, and Falstad is still available, so they could yep. still go for that exact start. Yeah, they, they could. Actually, RPG was banning out the false set in the previous game because they were kind yeah. of anticipating it to come down with SPT, but now the question is, do they even need to fear it still with uh, Sonya being banned out and Tyrael being secured for themselves? So there isn't really that hardcore lockdown for false set to capitalize on, and I think that it's actually... Oh, 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 oh. Soap is doing it again. Blaze is being deployed, and SPT is like, yeah. you know what, RPG, nice try last game. We're going to show you how it's done. I think you are very far behind me, by the way. Oh, yeah. I could basically uh, be behind. Let's see. Uh, oh, hell yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna reload. Okay. Uh, back back to night. I'm sorry. <laughs> back to night. Okay. I am also on night. There we go. Cool. But yeah, I really like the Blaze, for starters, mm -hmm. because they're going to show us how it's done, for starters. But for second, but they were able... Oh, I like that. We'll talk about that in a second. But the Tychus being picked here. We've seen Tychus used as a counter to Blaze repeatedly throughout HGC China and some of the other regions because Blaze, he doesn't have a huge amount of mobility. So Tychus has a lot of time to minigun yep. him. And with only one form of hard CC, Tychus can have a lot of freedom there. And of course, Odin is a great follow-up to Moshpit. Now, let's talk about the Junkrat. Yeah. Even more burst damage to potentially follow up on a Tyrael engage. Oh, absolutely. On the one hand, it could follow up the Judgment. If you sync it really, really well, you can unleash an absurd amount of burst damage, but also the other... Um, it could also go the other way, though. If Tyrael goes for Sanctification, and you bait the enemies into actually making those aggressive plays, only to surprise them by the immortality granted by Sank, Junkrat can actually hit many clumped up heroes from the opposing side that were thinking they would get an easy kill and turn things around single-handedly. So, a lot of cool playmaking potential here for Junkrat, and it's always good to see... Um, the Master of Mayhem, back in the mix. Absolutely. One of the most mobile assassins in the game. Yeah. Very fun to see, for just completely different reasons. Like, we consider Genji and Hanzo, <laughs> and it's like, oh, they're jumping around, they're doing flippy stuff. Oh, Tracer, she's got a teleport. Junkrat, I'm going to blow myself up to get over there. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that's what his character is, and it's fantastic. It makes him really hard to lock down if yeah. he takes the extra self-concussion my knockback radius and potentially the cooldown reduction for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, will the Junker be enough for RPG to turn things around and even up the series? Or is SPT, this time reinforced by Blaze, going to show them where it's at? We're going to find out in a bit. In the left-hand side, it is Tetra's most favorite team. It is RPG currently a little bit behind with Chicken. On the Tyrael, Wang plays Murden, Sa going for Uther, Infinity on the Rhaegar, and the man, the myth, the legend himself, Loktar on the junk rat. <laughs> As Murdy C spins, it's Chen Zhao <laughs> on the Tigers, Murdy C on the Hanzo, Misaka on ETC, Soap on the Blaze, and ZZH is on the Rhaegar. Is that a pro Hanzo? I think that was because. <laughs> driving, getting me a little bit dizzy here on the cast. 930 seat. degree no scope. <laughs> That was, that was, I think, one of my best descriptions I saw uh, when someone was talking about Hanzo. Yeah. Uh, Blizzard keep hearing about this whole no-scope thing, but having never made an SPS before, they don't know what it means, so they just made a sniper with no-scope. <laughs> uh, so Melly Z turning around, dropping the damage onto Wang, who was able to drop some good CC. Yeah. Blaze having to use his trait to get the armor, but nice move by Junkrat, knocking him back. Can they finish the job? Oh, yes, they can. Oh, oh. First blood to RPG. There we go. And that's exactly what we want to see here for RPG, taking things into their own hands early on. Loctar, one of the most refined players from a mechanical point of view in the league, showing us with a concussion mind where it's at. And a little bit of a background story to Loctar here, by the way. When Zuyu couldn't make it, to what I think was BlizzCon, it was actually Loctar to replace him. And uh, that's basically how much other teams value the players individually by RPG, but for some weird reason, it just doesn't seem to click when they play as a whole unit. That is, that is true. So let's, ha let's have a quick talk about some of the times. Once again, Blaze, mm -hmm. attack, and movement speed. This seems to be the go-to talent in China. Junkrat uh, manages to die. Uh, he actually took extra round timers. Here's another person we definitely need to talk about the talent for because hmm. the usual got some English, uh, got some English, put some English on it. Completely ignored. 
does feel really good every time you mention that uh, that talent, doesn't it? Yeah, but I have to ignore it now because we have extra round timers, which is extra <laughs> round beat up. No, it's it's a cool talent. Extra yeah. two seconds before the mines expl uh, before the Q based bombs that uh, Junkrat fires out explodes. Yeah. Which uh, basically requires Junkrat to think ahead even more. So sometimes you want to drop those uh, grenades before the enemy team is even there, just anticipating they would step inside, anyways. Um, it's definitely a, a, a lot less popular than put some English on it, which is much easier to get value from. But under circumstances, uh, under certain situa situations, excuse me, um, extra one timers can definitely get some value. As mine is dropped down, sends ETC for a ride as they try to defend that uh -oh, Kazuma camp Jin Zhao. Good done onto Jin Zhao there, but not enough for the kill here. <sighs> Unfortunately for RPG, there was no concussion mine available because that would have been a golden position for uh, the team to let Chen Zhao take a ride over the wall into the enemy base. Um, that would have been cool, but Junkrat wasn't really there yet. And uh, by the way, same old, same old for Soap on the Blaze, going for the damage reduction at level 4, which we basically saw yesterday as well. Yeah, Meltdown, a very effective talent if you're able to be in the fight at all times. And when you're with an ETC to take some of that tanking load off you, might be able to do so okay as RPG are discovered in their small camp raid. A lot of damage being dropped onto Grey Main, but the slowing totem preventing any chase. But RPG still in a good position. They've managed to drive back SPT, but reinforcements have arrived as Soap moves in. Yeah, the stun by Soap was good. And by the way, uh, speaking of weird or unusual talents, Chicken is going for his infamous auto attack style tutorial again that he basically uh -huh. showed us yesterday already. Going for a mix of empowering the smite and getting a life leech with your uh, basic attacks at level 4. Pretty cool to see. Huge amount of CC uh -oh. onto Muradin here. Wag has to leap away, but Soap is dropping low. His trait is active, reducing all that damage, but it's not enough. The meltdown not able to guarantee the escape of Blaze there. Yeah, the level 7 for Hanzo is not yet there, which means no armor reduction. That could have helped uh, so tremendously, actually, in that very fight here. Raymond Cocktail was dodged, oh, and Melody C is going to get Infinity with a stylish nice. jump to end it with. Beautifully done by SBT. Beautifully done, as we see Tyrion oh. go down as well. SBT, they were looking a little bit rough in that fight, but the health bars of RPG fell down eventually. And SBT will pick up the first Punisher. Melody C, please, show some mercy. That was absolutely killer. He destroyed two, three members by RPG at the same time with pinpoint accuracy there on his long distance storm bows. The auto attacks were good. The natural agility making sure that the target could not escape. Melody C on fire right there. Here's ETC, CC1, oh CC2, CC3, my. and bye bye Muradin. Very nicely done there. The wraparound from Misaka and Soap coming from the other side to force him into that direction. Just incredible execution there by RPG. Junkrat has respawned and is ready for the defense. He's taken. And this is why I like Junkrat, because mm. it lets me say words I would never normally say in a car. <laughs> they can bonza hits coming in, which is the Concussion Mine Talent, meaning that if he completes the quest, which is to hit 12 heroes, then it will deal more damage and will knock enemies back 30% further. Very true, and that could, of course, be that one golden tool that you need to really catch somebody um, off position, and uh, you will basically throw them over a wall, into the towers, into the keeps, maybe. Um, but for now... RPG needs to hope a little bit longer because level 10 is definitely not going to be um, arriving first for them. And Turiel continues. Wait, he doesn't even go Swift Retribution? That is sacrilege. Wow. That is sacrilege. So, it is one of the best talents in the game. It is, but Chicken is in his own ways here. We will talk about that, that, that talent when it comes up. As quickly, Jen Zhao with double Impalers and the rest of the team moving in. Here comes Chicken looking to maybe put some yeah. pressure on. Tyrael went for Purge Evil, which is a talent that I've never seen in competitive play with the new Tyrael because Swift Retribution grants so much utility, it grants attack speed, it grants more mobility, but uh, excuse me, Purge Evil, <laughs> which is sacrilege, um, increases Tyrael's basic attack damage whenever he casts Smite uh, for 4 seconds, so uh, the value remains oh, to be seen. I, I would love to be proven wrong, so uh, let's see. It is full in on the auto attacks like you did mm. say right at the start of this. Junkrat re-going down to the bot lane. He has good AoE, so he's going to be the one to clear here. He does, uh, his level 7 talent, by the way, is big as, so uh, that extra trap radius. Big as what, by the way? 
Mites. Oh, a, bit, a big ass uh, bear traps. Uh, I can't remember what the name of that ability is called now. The steel trap? Steel trap, thank you. That's the one. So, yeah, they're, bi they're big ass traps. <laughs> big as normal traps, kind of thing. He had small ones to begin with, now they're as big as traps. Cool. I like it. And Melody C yeah, likes to tear down structures with uh, his bow, which I'm not really sure how that would work in real life if you used a bow to tear down structures, but well, it's, it's Hanzo, man. He can do whatever he wants to. Exactly, as Dar as Chicken somehow survives. I really thought it was going to die there. But yeah, there's only one way to find out. You get a bow and arrow, and I will meet you at, uh, I'll meet <laughs> you at Hastings Castle. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I, I probably would want to try that. I... I'm not sure if I would be prepared for the consequences. By the way, how is your how is your lordship coming along, Tetcher? Because for those of you who didn't know, Tetcher is a lord in real life. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It's just a title. So have you used it ever since the only thing that's really changed about my life is I put it on forms now. Yeah. So have you used it other than uh, that one train ride you had? And you uh, let your seat be reserved on Lord Tetcher? Uh, yeah, my tax documents. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? You can't so take those taxes uh, off yeah. me. I got an email. I got an email saying, uh, "Don't forget to pay your taxes, Lord Chris." Um, <laughs> <laughs> as we see Chicken cleaning out the lanes with the rest of his team, Soap continuing to harass with that suppressing fire. All right, there goes the concussion mine. RPG was posturing up very nicely, but 13 is around the corner, and they only managed to accumulate 9, 10 skulls, maybe. That is not enough to really maintain that solid. Here comes ETC and Blaze. But Blaze's charge didn't land, so the CC not available. Wang gets Divine Shield, and he will survive here. The Sanctification also used in the back line. The Riptide not getting too much value here, as Tyrael forced to teleport into the back. Field Jump goal! Right. Has managed to be. Uh, Dugrat is so far alive, the Dragon Arrow does miss. <laughs> as Chicken keeps moving backwards, he's getting so seasoned. Oh. The concussion might not enough to save him. And the Tyrion Explosion will actually hit me, suck him. It's nowhere near enough for a kill. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens if you don't go Swift Retribution. Beautiful cleanse by ZZH, but Tyrion just didn't have the movement speed. With Swift Retribution, he could have maybe stayed alive a little bit more. But as it is, SBT, although the Dragon's Arrow didn't connect, is looking mighty strong. The self healing provided by Soap allows him to tank through so much. What a cleanly executed team fight. It is very cleanly executed. SPT didn't really look in trouble at any point in that fight. And so, once again, an aggressive bunker being mm. seen here. Just dropping it in the middle, immediately jumping out of it. And this is just looking so good for SPT right now. They're still three levels ahead. RPG with another round of pushing in here. In come the traps from Lockta. Sieging in, trying to get some back damage onto the Tigers. But stage dives already available again. And Lockta is getting focused. Yeah, RPG isn't even trying to macro their way out of this. They realize if they take this Punisher, they're going to take this keep, and they're probably going to end the game as well. So they try to go for a Hail Mary, but the armor reduction by Hanzo is too much. Here comes a Riptire, only hitting ZZH, though. Not enough to really cause any issues for SPT. They're in 18 to 11. They're going to finish this one off. Blaze by himself could probably do it, but the sail field by Blaze, Soap, she really showing us how it's done very well done. And they could actually rotate towards the bottom, leave this at 39, and secure themselves even more pressure if they wanted to play this super, super efficiently. They very much could. That is an option for them, considering they just got two, almost two team wipes in a yeah. row. Speaking of which, I've quite enjoyed Loktar's uh, mind-based sacrifice where he threw the mine. <laughs> So, uh, forcing ETC to stop chasing him and mm. condemning Misaka to death, which was quite amusing. Not Misaka, sorry, Wang. Yeah, RPG is playing a Honey Badger style here. They're refusing to let go once they've found their targets, but unfortunately for them, it's a Honey Badger facing a big grizzly bear. That is SPT, and even if the Honey Bear, uh, Honey Badgers <laughs> fights to the death, probably won't overcome a big mean grizzly. As in comes the Punisher over the wall. Wang takes a lot of damage. The oh! Omen flies into the trap but gets cleansed out and is now chasing down the members of RPG. They're getting to drop the damage. The armor on that Odin absolutely keeping it alive here. You can see the trap is dropped here to prevent anyone coming in too deep. The keep 
dropping low, but minions are not tanking, and the Punisher ran away. Mm. So we actually saw a little bit of damage go down there onto the members of SPT. As oh. Tiger flies into a terrible position, there's the device shield immediately onto Greyman as he begins to focus it down. The Punisher CCing out Uther to prevent any more healing, and Tiger's micros through the bunker, beautifully placed by Soap, who charges oh. in. <laughs> Blaze it up! Material. So much fire coming out of the bunker, killing Tyrael, executing him with his own... Uh, with their own fire here. There we go. We see another kill on the gray main. ZZH is going to oh. get out with that earthen shield as well, but it just generally seemed to click here between RPG. You could see the divine shield go down on gray main super early because Sa was thinking they could get the kill, but Grayman was so hesitant. He was so reluctant. He only realized that he was supposed to go in when the divine shield was already cast on him. And as such, SPT capitalized on it. The bunker for good measure taking <laughs> on... Oh, what? Fire! Uh, uh, on. Blow him up! <laughs> stud, and that's gonna be it. So, well played, All SBT right. taking the 2-0. <laughs> I've gotta say, my favorite moment of that game, Tychus flipped over the base, in trouble, Blaze drops the bunker for yes. us. That is the kind of use yes. we have been wanting to see out of bunker this entire time. That was the most perfect of Junkrat combos you could have hoped for.